Hello, Devotuti. Thank you for joining. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes. Hello, Orko. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, everyone. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes. আমি ওয়েভ করা জিনিস খুঁজে পাচ্ছি না ইটস ওকে ইটস অল রাইট নো প্রবলেম দে বলতে দি লেটস জাস্ট ওয়েট ফর টু মোর মিনিটস বিকজ দিস টপিক ওয়াজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি রিকোয়েস্টেড বাই ঋতুপর্ণা অ্যান্ড আই এম এক্সপেক্টিং হর ইন দ্য লাইফ ইজ ওয়েল সো উইল জাস্ট ওয়েট ফর হোয়াটস আ টাইম রাইট নাও We'll just wait for um, one more minute, I guess. Yeah, it's 8.31. We'll wait till 8.32 and we'll start. Hello, Sumi. Hello. one more minute and then we shall start how is the weather in shillong hi adi i am okay it's sumi thank you for asking how are you and how is the weather in shillong it's cold right very cold yeah nice weather <laughs> okay all right i think we can start and uh, people can join as and when they have to you seem to be low for any reason by because of my voice oh i think uh, yesterday i went out and after that i you know the weather is changing so that might have had an impact on me that's the reason otherwise i'm fine thank you for asking so let's start with the topic so again as i said that uh, this entire month of december will be the month of requested topics uh, whatever had been requested for the last two months and today's topic was requested this month itself by one of our members uh, on the, like she wanted me to talk about addiction and uh, i was expecting she even said that she would like to be a part of this live but i don't see her though but I am I'm I am hopeful that she would watch the recording as well. So now that we have only 3 participants as of now, I would like to start with asking a question. What do you think is addiction? What is your definition of addiction? I like forget the psychological term or Google description. Whatever you feel is addiction, a one liner, you know, maybe just a one liner would do. what is addiction for you anyone no one something you can't live without okay so i can't live without water is water my addiction or something we are used to i'm used to sleeping uh, for 8 hours is that an addiction so uh 
basically if i forget the scientific terminologies associated with addiction addiction in simple terms means anything which we indulge in more than what it should be anything for that matter so uh, usually when we talk about addiction addiction are of different types and addiction itself is one of a dis one of a disorder of its kind and addiction is one of the reason which leads to various other mental health disorders examples depression anxiety we'll talk about a little bit of all of them you know so uh, let us understand this uh, addiction in itself is meaning something which we are doing more or we are indulging or we are consuming more than what it should be so usually the moment i talk about addiction addiction basically people think addiction means uh, it's about uh, smoking it's about alcohol but uh, or drugs for that matter so could you tell me uh, apart from smoking or uh, drinking like alcohol or drugs what are the three major uh, you know what should i say the three major areas in which people are found to be addicted or you know they are suffering from addiction what are the three other substances or three other things with which people are addicted apart from smoking alcohol and uh, uh drugs these three are very common you know smoking alcohol and drugs these are all related to the substance abuse so addiction has different categories the substance abuse talks about the drugs and the smoking and the alcohol so apart from that section can you tell me that do are you aware of what are the three other things there are many more but three other things primarily why people uh, or which is one of the reason or primary source of addiction disorders in people three things anybody you can, it is okay there is nothing right or wrong answer you can just tell me three more things apart from the substance abuse part anybody anyone anyone apart from substance abuse addiction to our phone very good son uh, sumi yes phone addiction or mobile addiction or screen time addiction is one that is the right answer two more social media addiction yes that comes under the phone uh, you know the entire internet addiction to tea um yes but it's not very common i'm talking about the three things you know tea coffee caffeine addiction these all are there or uh, you know junk food these are all there but three major one definitely one is phone social media that aspect of screen timing and everything anything else the other two the major ones what do you think it's okay if it's not right two major ones anyone no one the two other major ones are first is chocolate chocolate addiction and chocolate addiction you don't find too much in children you find it in adults especially in women chocolate ice cream this kind of addiction this because this forms the part of emotional eating when you are going through depression uh, or anxiety you tend to do emotional eating that becomes an addiction the third one is and that is very common nowadays in fact if i get 10 calls a day then at least at least two will be on that issue and that is a sexual addiction and that sexual addiction is both for men and women both so these three addictions are there now apart from the substance abuse which includes your tea coffee as well because they are substances that you consume the other three that are important ones are chocolate social media or phone addiction and sexual addiction now my question is we are not talking about any specific addiction type but my question is uh, do you know that uh, why people like what is the basis of forming an addiction why people because nobody wants to form an addiction and then they form an addiction what is the basis of forming addiction or what are the reasons addictions are formed anybody any idea i anyways will answer but in case you have any idea 
because I am sure you might have come across people who have been addicted or who are addicted to something or certain things or you might have yourself been addicted to something or the else like chocolate for example. So do you know why people tend to fall prey to such things or why this entire thing of addiction comes into picture? How people get addicted or how people become addicted to certain things? Any clue anyone? If you have no clue you can simply write no then probably I can start answering as well. Anybody anyone? Peer pressure yes, yes definitely especially it comes for the smoking and alcohol or drugs the substance abuse part definitely yes in order to feel accepted in order to go along with them so that you feel uh, acknowledged you feel you know you are a part of a group definitely peer pressure is one of the reason very good anything else loneliness fantastic yes loneliness is one reason anything else so loneliness is one reason definitely for addiction uh, forming addiction being deprived maybe deprived of anything for that matter deprived yes that's actually a big one i'll break that up into a certain aspects yes so loneliness definitely one the second one definitely is peer pressure but the major one i'll talk about how it starts you know uh, so when we grow up from the time of our birth till our puberty that age until the end of our life so there are five to six milestones that we have according to uh, according to you know the psychoanalyst point of view. Now what is psychoanalysis? I'm talking from a point of view of Freud. Now you know who is Freud? He's the father of he's considered as the father of psychology. Although I dispute that part, but uh, according to him, and he actually had proven this point. He said that we go through certain stages, like the first stage, the very first stage from zero to three months is the oral stage the what is an oral stage oral stage is the time when the and everything in freud or everything about freud is associated with pleasure principle whatever pleasure you attend so according to oral uh, the first three months zero to three months the oral cycle during that oral cycle uh, the child tries to attain pleasure through their mouth so what does a three months child would do they will they are pr actually surviving on a breastfeeding so that mouth now somebody and okay first let me talk about all the stages the first is the oral stage the second one is the anal stage anal stage is where the toilet training starts of the child and they start gaining pleasure for, through their you know holding on to feces or uh, urination or releasing that so this is one thing third thing then slowly this like this the stages uh, exceed so third stage there can be uh, it is called the uh, stage of genital stage at that time is when we de uh, develop the Oedipus complex or Electra complex. Now what is Oedipus and Electra complex? Where the, uh, the boy child they th see their father as their competitor because the mother about with respect to the mother and the girl child sees their mother as the uh, com uh, competitor with respect to their father. So that is the complex and they start uh, you know that, that, that is how they derive and like this they have you know other uh, stages like as well. What Freud said that during loneliness, during depression, during anxiety, whichever stage was dominant during your childhood, you have a tendency to regress to that stage. Now there is what is regression going back to that stage, you have this tendency. So somebody who had been an oral personality or who had actually attained too much of pleasure through uh, oral uh, pleasures. So that kind of personality tends to form addiction. What kind of addiction will they form? They will not form sexual addiction. They will form addiction towards uh, smoking. They will form addiction towards drinking or tea or caffeine. And of course, there are peer pressure and other factors involved. Somebody who used to derive a lot of pleasure through the anal stage, they tend to move towards the sexual addiction. So this was his theory. This is the primary basis for how addiction develops. So it is not about the current stage. It is also about how you have grown up for this last 20, 30 years in your life. So, you know, that's why people often when they're anxious or when they cannot think through, they have to smoke because the moment the anxiety is there, the person in you tries to go regress back to that stage where you were very peaceful, where you used to attain pleasure. 
so that is how the addiction develops now apart from that of course there are other reasons another reason major reason for development of addiction is childhood trauma any childhood trauma any person who has addiction they have been either deprived of uh, certain things in their life or there have been certain childhood trauma or conflicts that they are dealing with in their real life so uh, childhood trauma of course does not always means uh, any kind of sexual abuse it can also mean accidents suicide uh, you know being compared to your child uh, to your siblings any kind of childhood trauma another reason for uh, addiction formation is uh, definitely chronic illness somebody who is going through an illness for a long period of time they start getting into the drug addiction or things like this you know to get rid of that pain that because they can't handle that pain fourth can be of course change in environment suddenly there is a change in environment change in your life like that but if you see whatever reasons i am taking up whatever reasons i am actually pulling up from there uh, whatever is the cause of anx- um, addiction the underlying cause for each of this is anxiety and that is why it is said addiction leads to anxiety anxiety leads to addiction it's like a statement you know so whenever we get any addiction cases the first thing we need to check is was addiction a result of anxiety or anxiety and addiction exists in the person as two separate causes in 90% of the cases addiction and anxiety are a combined package that is delivered so usually the anxiety is there what happens in anxiety you are anxious you tend to move go into a social isolation you have depression you go into a social isolation you don't want to talk to anybody and at that time uh, what happens is you when you start withdrawing you st- either start uh, you know collaborating with people who are also into drinking or smoking or that kind of a mental frame or you will simply go into that addiction phase of you know going to a bar and drinking alone now what happens in that what happens when you actually have those kind of substances the neurotransmitters in our brain that becomes dormant for a little bit of time i'm talking about substance abuse i'm not talking about even for sexual addiction you know when you're extremely anxious when you know there are a lot of things that you cannot handle you're not getting clarity you see you know just indulge into too much of sex and this is an actual cause i mean i have handled cases i am handling one case like that where the person is like you know just to prove them so there's so much of anxiety they get into too much of sex so too much of anxiety they get into too much of substance abuse what happens then the neurotransmitters or anything that is uh, uh, that that actually causes that stress or anxiety that gets dormant for a little bit and you get, go into the state of trance like everything is okay it's because those hormones like oxytocin or serotonin or dopamine they kind of get start getting released but the catch is they get released only for certain period of time the moment that effect is over immediately those things come back immediately it comes back and again you think okay i'll indulge again and that is how this becomes a vicious cycle and that is how the addiction is formed you know so whatever it is the kind of addiction even phone somebody who's who suffers from social anxiety or somebody who suffers from you know doesn't want to talk to people they are the one who are primarily so, uh, you know falls at uh, prey to uh, social addiction or phone addiction or screen time addiction somebody is suffering from loneliness they also go to social addiction so addiction always has a reason nobody just get into addiction one fine day okay today 20, i will get go into you know addiction I, i will become addicted to certain things no it doesn't happen like that every kind of addiction has a reason behind it so i talked about the substance abuse i've spoken about the uh, uh, you know the phones i've also spoken about the uh, sexual part the chocolate addiction now the chocolate addiction is something it comes as a form of emotional eating chocolate junk food all these comes as a form of emotional eating now when you're feeling very low sometimes you know you eat a uh, a lot of cake a lot of chocolate a lot of sweet things because what happens the moment you eat that uh, oxytocin or you know the serotonin is released or dopamine is released within you and immediately you start feeling good but temporarily those who can overcome the actual root cause then only it becomes permanent otherwise these are all temporary fixes and this eating of chocolate junk food whenever you are emotionally down is actually a disorder it is called binge eating disorder it comes under eating disorder so 
you might be saying that I'm probably scaring all of you off, but this is how the things are. You know, it, it might seem very normal for us, but things are actually uh, at a level of disorders. So, uh, even there is, a, you know, when I'm talking about the uh, what else, what other addiction did I talk about? Yes, uh, Sumi was saying, asking about tea, tea and coffee. Now, what happens is somebody wakes up, they have a cup of coffee, they feel nice because caffeine gives you that shot in within. And you feel that that is exactly how I will feel nicer every day. And that is how the addiction is formed. Trust me, I am a person who is not addicted to anything for that matter. But I'm, if I am specifically talking about tea and coffee. So, if I, if some, I have been with a person, you know, uh, one of my close friends. She used to have, have to start her day with a cup of coffee. Otherwise, her day does not start. She will be in a complete low mood. Now, what has coffee to do with that? Because it is all in the mind that, you know, when I have this cup of coffee, then only I will feel better. Otherwise, I will not feel better. Okay. I will answer that question or go. So, how, how will I feel better? Otherwise, I will not feel better. But that is all in the mind, you know. Uh, uh, for a person like me, I am also surviving with a coffee and, and doing, you know, 100% productivity is there. So, everything is there. Now, the question, when I, the quitting part, of course, the quitting part uh, there are different ways and we will talk about that a little in a short while before I end the life. So, this is how the addictions are formed. You think it is a one time, then it becomes twice, then it becomes thrice and then it becomes a part of your circle. Now, there are people who have multiple partners uh, that is also an addiction because they are constantly searching for something and they get it one, Not if they are not happy, then they move to another, then they move to another, then they move to another. That is an addiction, that is a sexual addiction. It is not to the stage of paraphilia. Now, what is a paraphilia? If these are sexual disorders. All kind of sexual disorders comes under paraphilia. It is not under paraphilia, but substance or any kind of addiction is actually formed or actually impacts at different levels. It impacts your level of depression, level of anxiety, level of social bonding, level of your daily routine and of course, your own energy level and own mental clarity level. It impacts at all level. Hi, Saurav. So, this is how the addiction works. Now, the question is, uh, first of all, any question so far, apart from the question that Orko asked, I will answer that question. Any question so far? I see Ritu Parna is watching. Ritu Parna, it was your requested topic. If you have any specific question, you can ask before I start talking about quitting. Any question, anyone? Because we have about 10 minutes left. Anyone? Any question? Okay, I'll probably start answering. If the question comes, then maybe we'll I'll take it up. So, no question from my end. Okay, Sumi. Yes, thank you for confirming. Okay. So, uh, coming to the quitting part. Now, quitting is not easy. Quitting an addiction is not easy. Now, very, very few people have this uh, tenacity and have this ability to leave everything and never touch that back. And is addiction good? No, of course not. Of course not. When you are getting addicted to something, it is only to overcome certain other things. Overcome certain other things, you know. Uh, I did not understand the question. Wait. Uh, is addiction good of some good things? No, addiction is definitely not good. Whenever you are getting addicted to something, you are basically trying to overcome something else, some other conflict in your life which you are not able to solve. So, unless and until you get solve that problem, you will remain addicted. And by the time you solve the problem, you become so addicted to the substances that you are uh, using that it becomes like a vicious circle that you cannot live without it. So, there is something called substance abuse disorder. Then is some, uh, there is also something called substance overuse disorder. Overuse is when the limited quantity of substance that you used, which used to give you a high feeling, that also does not impact because you have already your body has become used to that. Okay. Is addiction subjective? No kind of addiction is subjective. Addiction is not positive, whether it is good or bad. Addiction is not positive. If you are com completely, let us say, I uh, will just answer Sahil's question. Uh, so, Sahil, uh, you know, so 
whatever you are trying to overcome in your life, if you are not overcoming that uh, in your real life, you will always remain addicted to something or the other, if you are not able to do that properly. So, uh, by the time you resolve that or that gets resolved automatically, you might fall prey to things that you are not able to come back from. Addiction and obsession, no, no, addiction and obsession are completely different things. Uh, what is your take on addiction to your partner? Addiction to your partner, that is, that is an addiction as well. Addiction, see, obsession means that you are, okay, addiction is a consumption of things or addiction is overusing of things in your life, overindulgence into things. Obsession is not overindulgence of things. Obsession is that you are so engrossed with certain things that you are curbing the person's independence. What is your take on addiction to your partner? I would feel extremely claustrophobic if somebody is addicted to me. Trust me. If I love and addiction are two different things. Love, uh, you know, addiction, do not confuse addiction with possessiveness. Possessiveness is different. Addiction is, I am so addicted to my partner that if my partner even says one thing wrong to me, my entire day is spoiled. So, how is it good to me? How is it happening? Uh, or how is it working in my favor? So, Coming back to your question, uh, on question I think Orko, right? Uh, yes, your question. So, how do you quit addiction? Uh, it is not easy. Trust me, it is not. That is the reason why we have re rehabilitation center, but not everybody needs to go to rehab centers. I have treated people without medicines, without rehab centers to come out of smoking and drinking. But the fact is, point number one, can obsess, uh, okay, answering can obsession lead to addiction? It can. It can. But addiction also can lead to obsession. But addiction and obsession are two different things. But it does not always happen. Obsession to addiction, addiction to obsession usually happens in the sexual arena. It does not really happen in the consumption of things. So, uh, going back to what I was answering to Orko, to go out or to come out of addiction, it is very important. You have to first make up your mind that you do you really want to come out of it. Because saying I want to come out and not acting on it is not going to help. If you want to come out, there are different ways. For smoking, there is one app called, uh, what is the name of that app? There is one app, I forgot the name, but there is one specific app which actually helps uh, to quit smoking properly because it is an AI generated app. I forgot the name, um, uh, there is some app, I, if I remember I will post it at the, you know, on this video I will comment, I will put it as a comment on this video. There is one app, drinking and all, you have to first identify the root cause because of which your addiction is happening. Unless you remove the root cause, it will not happen. So, for example, you might have had fever, but that fever can be because of your stomach is upset or because you have viral. I can give you all the medicines in the world and all the global gyan, but it is not going to work unless we figure out why the fever is there. Because I will give you a simple example. You know, my niece who was, who was at that time 8 years old, she had fever after she came back from, came from Delhi to Kolkata. Not this year, but 2 years back. So, they, she was given all antibiotics and everything, but she was not becoming too well. So, I said that uh, she was going to the washroom often. I, the, all I said that all you need to do uh, is check that, you know, give something for a stomach infection. Maybe the fever will also go down and it went down. So, you have to find the root cause of your addiction because unless you sort the root cause, you will not be able to get rid of your addiction. Addiction is just an escape just a way of dealing with your anxiety, depression or anything uh, in which you are not able to deal uh, logically in your real life. And uh, okay, Saurav's question, I overcome smoking is a cold turkey, what are the other methods to remove addiction? As I was saying, I was already answering, removing the root cause is very important. Now, peer pressure, uh, if you have, uh, so Saurav, now I am asking you a question, why did you start smoking first of all? You have to tell me that. Then I will answer the uh, next part of it. How do you find the root cause? You have to find that what is the trigger in you which leads you to get into your addiction. You have to find out the trigger point. Like uh, for example, uh, the moment I get an email from my boss which is uh, or any email or any message which, uh, which asks me or which leads me to explain myself where I do not have proper answer immediately I get into anxiety and I start smoking. 
so you have to find your triggers that what is the trigger is the trigger that people are saying or is the trigger that you are being questioned or is the trigger that you don't have an answer to something or is the trigger is self image so you have to find out the root cause and if you are not able to find it out yourself because sometimes it is not possible to do self deduction then of course you can talk to somebody who can help you with this but eventually if you sit with a pen and paper and you find out what is your addiction people have addiction to porns as well you know peer pressure and loneliness was my root cause yes peer pressure loneliness you know once your loneliness is over once your those once you get rid of those peer pressure and suddenly one day you realize no it's not uh, doing any good to me that that method would work but what about uh, how do you get rid of this uh, people who have porn addiction how will you get rid of this because there is no peer pressure nothing it is basically too much of indulgence into sexual stuff so what do you do with that then you have to question answer people people who get into porn addiction they usually start that because of the fact that uh, they want to understand or they want to um, explore a lot of things they want to have uh, they have a lot of unanswered questions and uh, which they want people which they want an answer to and it is because in the indian society people don't talk very openly about it right so that's how it starts but then once you get an answer you have to get rid of it also because none of this gives you a proper answer but i think i missed one question of ritu porna i think so actually started eating chocolates and cakes out of loneliness it really bothered me yes yes because you are when you are lonely your uh, level of uh, serotonin and dopamine you know falls and the moment you eat chocolate or cakes it immediately rises i know this i there is another person in the life today who does like that so uh peer pressure and loneliness yeah so you know if you want to really get rid of addictions you have to first find out is that an addiction how do you find out it's that an addiction it is impacting the quality of your life and the amount of time you are spending on this or the amount of or the amount as in uh, financially it is how it is impacting you that is one thing second thing is is it impacting your mental health or it is impacting your physical health if the, both the answers are yes then definitely you have an addiction and then you try and find out why did it start is it only because of peer pressure is it because of loneliness depression anxiety or any other reason and treat the root cause usually when you treat anxiety addiction get sorted all by itself get yourself involved in other things which actually is productive for you you know there are other things for every wrong things you know the kind of distraction that uh, alcohol might give you at the high something else would probably give you you have to find out your areas of interest and that would help you i am not saying that suddenly you start meditating meditation would help but not completely because meditation will help you to lower down to your uh, lower down your anxiety level a little bit but not completely you have to engage yourself replace one with another your mind cannot most of the people's mind cannot remain vacuum you know there cannot be vacuum for a long period of time sahil says sometimes we become very close to a non family member we were addicted with them how to overcome from it is it addicted or is you have become just close being close with someone does not mean that you are addicted to somebody how do you define like uh, i'm still trying to understand how do you define that you are addicted to a person i'm just trying to understand that person point are you possessive about that person do you want to spend more time with the person that is not addiction addiction is you cannot imagine your day without the person you have to be with that person you cannot provide independence to that person you have to be like a clingy creeper you will be with that person and that is impacting that person as well that is addiction to a person and that any kind of addiction is not good so when you are asking sahil that we become very close to a non family member which is okay uh we were addicted with them so i would rather reframe it and say that you are very very close with them and now you are not able to overcome it so first things first why do you want to overcome it because e a you suddenly realize that it's not doing any good to you or b that person has moved out and now you are actually in a state of depression or anxiety or things like that then again we will have to move back to the root cause that anxiety and depression you know get rid of those pent up emotions and uh, repressions and slowly and steadily find ourselves a little settled and uh, find ourselves able to release and let go of things okay so these are the cure now if you need proper cure there are other cures as well there is something called of course you know that uh, reiki works wonders with addictions so reiki is there 
and uh, there is support group as well for uh, alcohol. There are 12 step process as well for people who are spiritually inclined for them uh, removing addiction is uh, there is a 12 step, 12 step mechanism any kind of addiction for that matter. So, you have to find out bottom line you have to find out what is the root cause and treat the root cause do not try to treat the addiction it is not going to work you have to treat the root cause then only it will work ok. I think our time is over yeah almost any other last minute questions you have because uh, I thought of giving a gist of how addiction forms what is addiction and how uh, you know how you identify the root cause and how you try can try and overcome it yourself. If you can overcome it yourself that is the best way if you cannot of course uh, help is provided and help is there. The very last step of any uh, getting rid of addiction is rehabilitation I would I would probably not suggest that to anybody but yes only in the extreme cases I would suggest that otherwise I would suggest do it yourself or do it non medicinal way ok. Do not do it medicinal way because sometimes when you try and get rid of addiction with through medication you fall. Uh, addicted to medicines. I was addicted to crocin, calpol, amrutanjan, pola and so so many things I have no clue what are the root causes I only know these things make my life easier and peaceful. Peaceful and life easier from what? You are welcome Rituparna. Peaceful and easier from what? Like when exactly what was the time exactly you used to have this crocin, calpol, amrutanjan, polo and so many other. So, these are basically this amrutanjan, polo these are mint that so the moment you have this mint smell what happens? what happened used to have. So, when you used to have you do not need to answer me here, but just think that what was the time specifically you cannot have cross in 24 hours you would used to have it at specific times kuch hota tha and then you used to have that. And then the smell of amrutanjan, dendrite, uh, shoe polish, uh, phenyl, petrol these are also addiction people are addicted to smells people and that is a different level of addiction because the moment you smell immediately it impacts your brain and it calms down your brain and that is probably it made your life easier. But when you find better ways to make your brain calm down then of course you do not need Amrutanjan to calm you down. Amrutanjan no you do not need that. I have seen people opening the Vixka Dabba and smelling like this as I used to ask that do you have cold I said no I love the smell that is addiction it is definitely addiction. I have seen people you know talk in the malls sitting with each other and uh, Fevicol and petrol ok I am still addicted to it. Petrol smell yes a lot of people kerosene petrol smell a lot of people are addicted to it. You know you have to understand that what is this what what this immediate shot gives you what, what is this immediate thing that uh, gives you. So, you have to find out that thing that is very important. There are people I have seen you know uh, who are addicted to shoe polish they used to move around the people who used to uh, clean and uh, you know clean the shoes and all. So, people are addicted to different things, but is it that like how, to what extent are you calling it addiction loving the smell of fevicol or liking or you know adoring the smell of kerosene is ok, but are you always sitting with a can of kerosene or a container of petrol or a container of fevicol with you? that is addiction that addiction if you are not doing it regularly that is not addiction that means you like that even I like the smell of kerosene, but that does not mean that I am sitting with a jar of kerosene with me every time that becomes addiction. So, you have to do not I all I am saying is do not use the terms loosely to yourself because the more you keep on saying I am addicted to this I am addicted to this your brain actually learns that you are addicted to this. So, uh, whatever you are doing you know you have to understand to what extent it is impacting your life. It's just smelling dendrite I have dendrite in my home it's, I love the smell of dendrite, but then I am not sitting with a dendrite ka dabba or a tube with me. So, that is not addiction anymore. So, but I do but no I do not sit with a bottle each day. So, that is not addiction it is like you like that smell and when you have that smell that gives you that pleasure that is ok. So, even the biryani ka aroma also gives a lot of people pleasure that is ok that does not mean I am addicted to biryani. Addiction means over indulgence of anything that is impacting the quality of your life on a daily basis if it is not it is not addiction it is just like you like that or it can go to a level of little bit of obsession, but not addiction because treating obsession and treating addiction are two different things ok. 
So, I think that is towards the end of the session and uh, thank you for being this uh, interactive. I hope you find this information helpful and uh, we will come back tomorrow in Facebook with another life and as you know that December week is going on and is dreamy December. So, tomorrow's dreams that we are going to discuss is about death. It is one of the major major dream that people dreams about death. So, tomorrow's is a Facebook live at 10.30. See you tomorrow. Take care then.